it's Greenberry. And Kirsten. And you have caught adult, adult body, body fighters. fighters. We almost said it in sync, but we didn't. We were so close. <laughs> well, this is where we are going to help you find an adult buddy. That's right. A grown-up buddy. No kids. No kids allowed. Mm-hmm. I'm talking even your ears and your eyes. Mm-hmm. You're not an adult. Scram. That's beat right. it. You got to be 18 to listen. Yes, you do. As you can hear, my voice today is a little raspy. What do you think that's about? Oh, that's sexy. I like that. <laughs> Almost as sexy as the, all the fun fetishes oh. that our guest does. <laughs> She is. She does or specializes in stuff Rasky like... Raspy voices? No. Oh, uh, no, that's your thing. That's all you, Greenberry. Uh, she does nylons and boots. Yes. And there's some humiliation stuff in I there. don't want to be humiliated. And I do that enough on my own. I don't like it. You humiliate yourself? Yes. That's going to be a self-humiliation fetish. It's not I'm on sh- purpose. I feel like that's a thing. It's just the way I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could get an OnlyFans page for yourself oh just like she has and pay me and pay yourself be your own pay pig i've been trying to pay myself i've been trying to be my own pay pig and it's not working very well (laughs) (laughs) this is like my my sad my sad wah wah i think you're doing terrible at the pay pig thing I don't know a lot about it, but I feel like you're supposed to be a little bit more dominant because she's a femdom. So Fem I dom. think you kind of have to be a, a dominant person. To yeah. Do the if, whole. if these terms are like, what the heck does it mean? Well, you're in the right place. Oh, yeah. We are going to find out together. I have so many questions because a lot of this is news to me. I, I haven't heard of a, a lot of this, this stuff before. I've heard of it before. <laughs> I've explored the internet quite a bit. Oh, okay. So is this something you've done personally or is this is like from, how, how do you know about this? No, no. I <sighs> don't think from anything personal except for somebody saying that they're into it and then I go, oh, Google. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? What? Oh, yeah. I didn't Google this time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I usually try to Google, but I, I'm going to let her tell me what her experience. I, I'll Google on the back end. I got my computer handy just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to Google her. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, look up. I will have all of her social media. That's right. <laughs> So we'll be able to get all of that information. <laughs> yeah. I No, I haven't really been into that whole thing. I mean, I think we've, we've discovered I have a dominant side and, and really enjoy the dominance. But I can't say that I've done any sort of humiliation or I think I could get into the nylon and boot thing. I can't. I can't remember. Wait, what? <laughs> when, you said domi- when you said dominatrix, I thought you were saying that you were the sub, but you think that you're the dom? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So you're going to go, oh, I see what you're saying. I remember what you said. I want to tell people you what said, to in do. in your real life, you're like submissive. Yeah, yeah. But in the bedroom, she's a dominatrix. I want to be more dumb. Yeah, dominant. You want to be? Yeah. Or you did it? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Have you achieved? I haven't, I haven't leaned too hard at that. <laughs> That I remember. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to find out from your lovers. That'll they'll be our next guest. Like how <laughs> dominant have that was Kirsten a successful dominatrix in your opinion? Just call in and let us know. <laughs> oh my god, we'll do a Facebook live with all my exes. Yes, what all, type of a lover was Kirsten? All, all the cockroaches in New York City. <laughs> Which yeah. I think it's fine to be a cockroach. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how people feel. I guess I, I was looking it up after because we talked about cockroaches a couple yeah. episodes back. And and it does seem like the, the downside is that it can be a surprise. So yeah. Cockroach e. It can be <laughs> it can be hurtful and yeah, not feel good when it, I mean it comes down to what we've been talking about this whole time is communication. Communication. Be open and honest with whoever you're with. Yeah. So I think it's a little bit don't of Don't you go Lying to people. <laughs> <laughs> Just be honest and open yes. and tell them what the hell to do. So, oh, that's what it should be more so. You have to tell. Oh. You have to be honest and Ooh, open. Oh, she's a dominator. You need to communicate. She's very good. Hate. Did that work? <laughs> yes, but you, I, I went on the dominatrix tangent, but you were talking about your own nylon. Oh, yeah, I think that could be fun. And boots? I like my legs. I'd show my legs off. You have great legs. Thank you. Yeah. Get some nylons and boots. They're strong. OnlyFans. 
She's an athlete. Yeah. Oh, hey, guess what? I think that that, that our guest is here. Yeah, Freya is here. Yeah, literally <laughs> knocking on the door. <laughs> so you are in for a great show. Thanks for tuning in. And let's go talk to Freya. Yeah. Hang around with you. We got Freya. <laughs> are you Queen Freya? Or yeah. Freya. Queen my, Freya. My honorifics are Queen um, Dominatrix or Dom or Mistress. Okay, so I don't know no already. Honorifics. What does this mean? <laughs> um, it's it's basically like a fancier word for my title. Um, oh what subs and switches will refer to me as. Okay, oh, nice. so how did this happen? How yeah. did you become a queen? <laughs> it's in your bloodline, like the royal yeah. family. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no further questions. Goodbye, Freya. <laughs> um, I am. Um, I so when I was younger, I it, it, it's like weird. I know that there's like this weird like Freudian link to everything that we're into, like sexually. Yeah, I mean, like hate the guy, but like, <laughs> but um. No, I, I grew up like a lot of sex workers with like a lot of domestic and sexual violence in the home. Okay. And then um, I just kind of like <laughs> turned a, a bad situation into a way to make money. Okay. Like, <laughs> and like also um, have fun, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I, uh, I, I remember like the first time I, I like, I started to realize that I was not a submissive woman. It was like, I was like 15 or 16. Yeah. And, like experimenting with sex. And I just like, no, I don't want to be slammed against the wall with your hand on my throat. That's too close to home for me. But okay. I will throw you on the fucking bed and spit in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, yeah. cool for you, not for me. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Taking like, that power back. Yeah, Hell yeah. You know, I like had a guy like tried to do those things with me and I fucking snapped and was like, I want you crawling out of this room like the dog that you are. Like, okay, so yes. how, did that, how did that situation go? So obviously it started out where he was like thinking one way and you were like thinking a totally different way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did he like it? So sometimes they think that it's like give and take, you know, push and pull. Um, and like sometimes it can be that way. But consent is always key and if I'm saying like hey no I don't like this that's not me being no I yeah that's like different <laughs> yeah I'm literally saying like I I'm not where I'm yeah. not you know because it's just kind of weird if you're not into what the other person's in too. right yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. so he's pushed you and you go, I'm going to have you crawling out yeah. of here like yeah. the dog that you are. <laughs> and was he, was his boner like, <laughs> or, was he, or was it like a tail between the legs where it's like, oh, his boner. Yeah. <laughs> it was more of like a shock thing where he was kind of like, uh. Oh. <laughs> and then he was like, yeah, and then what? And I was like, oh. oh. Okay. Like, oh. So now, <laughs> we're, now we're playing. Yeah. Doing yeah. some improv skills right there. Yeah. Yes, and. Yeah. No, it's, you know, and I've come to find too, and I will get a, a this is my controversial opinion, <laughs> not controversial amongst dominant women, is that no man is dominant. I don't think the men are dominant. I think that they're all service tops. Uh -huh. <laughs> because every guy that I've like been intimate with has always been like, oh, I'm the dominant man. <laughs> and then we like get down to business and I'm like, the fuck you are. And then uh... I like get into shit. And the next thing you know, they're sucking their own cum off of my body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, service top. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a service top is um like a pleasure dominant person oh, all right. so like basically a partner who is strictly interested in pleasing you and giving into your needs like ah. first and foremost and sometimes like that's all that they want to do like that's enough for them yeah so like i've been in situations where um guy comes over and like make sure that i like the fucking night of my life okay and then i'm like okay and then i i go to return the favor and they're like no no, no it's, it's fine i'm good Okay. Yeah. Do it's you, the best. Like, <laughs> and what you do? Do you ever do it where you're like, "Great, you got me off. Now go home. You're done. I, right, that's I, it." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, done, I've done that a lot. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's um. It's very liberating. Like I. I feel like it is like. It's such a fucking like boss move. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so oh my god. Yes. Because <laughs> like, like you know like, you're in your twenties, you're like I'm tired. 
and then you pretend to be asleep. I'm just flat out like, no, I'm fucking done. Good night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to roll over and pretend like you're asleep and no. secretly you're like, God, I wish you would just go home. Yeah. You get to just be like, go home. <laughs> yeah, I've literally been like so... Which I wonder if there's something to that of like, I mean, people enjoy honesty and to not have the person lay on their back and just kind of pretend yeah. like they're asleep instead straight up say the truth is kind of hot. Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of guys like I had like one guy that like fell in love with me. After that. Like, no, like it sounds so conceited to say it, but it was so uncomfortable. Uh -huh. Like he would like show up like the rocks at my window. And oh, I'm like, oh, it drunk was drunk and loathing and I love you. And I'm like, there's something else in my bed right now that we need to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then he pulled out the stereo and held it up. <laughs> Played some kinky like bounce going. <laughs> yeah, for me and that would be like the weirdest cup situation. <laughs> like I'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm, here. Yeah. I'm here, but I'm not here. Yeah. Like, yes. Do your thing. Just, just enjoy yourself. Oh my god, the like say anything fetish. I love that. Oh, okay. That's got. That's definitely a thing. There has to be. Like. <laughs> Oh my god, please call in if you have that fetish and tell us all about it. I want to know everything, all the details, please. Have you ever faked an orgasm? No. Never. <laughs> wow, no. you just made it real. Yeah. So it's just like you 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 don't want you don't want to, you're not gonna do has anyone been offended whenever you said like, hey no, I did not get off. I don't care. Like let <laughs> men know that they suck at sex. Yeah. <laughs> do they do they get in trouble? Are they like punished if they're not good at sex? Or is it just a like the the disappointment alone is enough punishment? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you have to be careful with that part because sometimes guys can be really bratty too and they oh. don't want to disappoint you to get punished. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's man. like a uh, <laughs> new situation. Um so sometimes with those guys, yes, you don't have to be like, no, I'm just disappointed. And then they will, like a lot of times they will keep trying and you just kind of have to like know when to be like, I'm, I just can't mm -hmm. put up with this anymore. I don't even want to look at you. Like, <laughs> 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 you just came out. <laughs> this is so intense. Yeah. So intense. She parked near <laughs> So are you in a relationship or how does that work in, in the dominatrix world? Like, is there such a thing as being in a relationship? Um, no, I'm currently not. Okay. Um, I, my, I was in a relationship for six years up to, uh, like last year I, I broke up with him in like June. Okay. Um, and he, you know, I started, so I, I started dominating when I was younger and then I stopped because like something like another career choice that I made. Okay. And, and then I just, during the pandemic, like everybody else, I was like, well, I guess I could go back into sex work. And so I did. Okay. And He's fine with it. He he's like he was pretty cool about it. Um, we had like his boundaries, like certain his boundaries were specifically like um, like he didn't want me to receive like flowers of gift as gifts for my subs because they're like really mm. special. Like I, okay. you know, so that was like a thing that he liked to only get for me. Um, and that was it that you were okay with that yeah, boundary. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, because that's something special. I feel like if you are a sex worker and you are in a serious relationship, like every person that does this is like they have specific things that they're just like, this is reserved for specifically like my main partner. Yeah. yeah. And so like it does keep things better in the relationship and, and there's like less tension. And there were like other things like he didn't want me to do uh, jerk off instructions. And, okay. And, like, oh. he, yeah, because he didn't like that I was like coaching somebody to get off to me. And so I was like, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And like I kind of found that I'm, I'm not into doing that. I mean, I really honestly don't want to look uh, most of these guys and I don't want to look at their dicks. Like, when they're my clients, like, I'm like, I don't want to, I don't yeah. care. You know? what, what do you do with dick pics then? Um, well, I actually, I don't even remember the last time I got one unless I, like, asked a guy to send me one so I could laugh at it. <laughs> <laughs> and then did you straight up laugh at it? Yeah, I, yeah. So I do a lot of, uh, we call SPH, small penis humiliation. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, and, like, and, and, like, sometimes they will like that. I, like, send them screenshots of me laughing with other girls that I've, like, shown. <laughs> so it, it really depends, like, how much the guy wants to pay me what I do with dick pics. <laughs> 
<laughs> so with small penis humiliation, it, it doesn't matter. Can they have a big giant dong and you still pretend like it's small? There. Okay. So I've never had to do this with my, one of my best friends. Um, she had an SBH session and the guy apparently had like a Pringle can. And <laughs> he was like, I know. And he's like, please just like see what you can do. And she was like, I don't know. Well, like she was like, honestly, I was trying to keep a straight face. Cause I was just like, it's too big. <laughs> well, like, short and and stout, no, basically. Very, like like oh, an, an entire like, can. not a tuna. I was thinking tuna can. Yeah, <laughs> We're talking a Pringle can. There's so many cans of penises out There's there. There's so many penis cans. Yeah, in no, the world. I, so I've never had that. Um, but I, I usually get like really ridiculous, really ridiculous ones. So, uh, but yeah. you usually uh, you've only had to do small, real smalls. Yeah, there was like, there's like one sub that I have that I call nipple dick. Oh, it looks like it's just like a Oh my <laughs> lord. So there's that small out there. Yeah. Oh I mean, wow. You know, we come in all shapes and sizes, don't we? How do you know the difference between a guy that wants to be humiliated for it and who like, doesn't basically who's yeah, just wants to pretend feeling like bad can. yeah <laughs> yeah because um. i've definitely been with guys that have been like i'm sorry it's small i'm sorry it's big. <laughs> and i don't know now i'm i'm, th- I'm listening to you talking yeah. i'm like maybe i should have been like yeah you're small. i should have just pointed and laughed <laughs> yeah. and been like yeah you should you should feel bad that's all you're giving oh me <laughs> I mean, sometimes you can always, like, ask them. You can be like, do you honestly think that? Or is that something you want to hear? Uh, okay. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, at the time, I was like, I think they were average size. They were, there was nothing sad or <laughs> so laughing. There was no laughing. Like, yeah, I mean, they just had, like, partners that are just, like, size queens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we're not mad at those people. <laughs> but I like that. I'll just yeah. straight up ask. Because, yeah. I mean, yeah. You that's... never know. And then it opens up a door to endless fun possibilities. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> are you a dom in person or are you only online um i do both okay mm-hmm. i i i have actually i just have this up uh here he's in la he's really he's such a good boy um <laughs> he uh he waited in line for my friends and i at like a movie screening on saturday he got in line at like five and we didn't show up until like 7 15 so he was like outside wow and, in like, the heat in the sun yeah oh what a good boy I yeah i, I woke up it, it's like for my birthday so i woke up to like a thousand dollars and like that's oh, him wow. nice. yeah this wow. is too, and, like have him in chastity Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really She's wearing boy. a key around her yeah. neck. Yeah. It's really cool, like keychain choker. <laughs> and apparently his dick is locked up mm-hmm. with this key right yeah. now. <laughs> so like he comes over and cleans my house um, wow. once in a while. And um and then there's like another guy that wants to meet up for like like specifically only like foot worship sessions because I don't do um I'm not sexual with my clients. Well I'm I was gonna ask that. We can get into. I will talk to. I'll talk about that uh, in a second. Okay. There's like one guy who only wants to do like foot worship and house cleaning calls and cash drops. Is way basically they show up and they hand me cash and then I send them on their way. And you tell them when to show up. Yeah. So wait, you have guys showing up and cleaning your house (laughs) and (laughs) just handing off money to you. Yeah. (laughs) And they get off on it. And why am I not doing this? It sounds like it's like so easy. I wish it was like me, like what their fantasy is of me, like laying in bed and waking uh-huh. up and being like, yeah, I'll have this for breakfast. And like, there's yeah. like endless cash drops on my phone. Like there's so much work, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of girls that want to get into this and they don't realize like how dangerous it is and okay. how much like information you need to have and like how you have to be a professional at this because you could really harm people like emotionally and physically oh wow so like you have to know what you're doing and like also like you know there's going to be there's probably going to be some listeners that like are younger people who are not just women that are going to be like inspired by me but like you have to be very serious about the fact that you're going to be meeting strangers and yeah. most of your strangers um are cis heterosexual men and most of the people who are committing crimes of murder and <laughs> violence against sex workers are cis heterosexual men yes so it takes people to do yeah, so like be smart about these things you know what i mean but um 
I, I, I'm, I'm very, I am very smart about what I do, but I also take a lot of risks. Like, so what we were talking about is if I get sexual with my subs, well, there was one sub who I was like, not at first, like interested in, in like, mm. um, you know, sexual way, but we talked a lot and he, so but like just first and foremost to make things clear, I do specialize in financial domination. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's what most of my, my submissive are in subs. So he, which is the this- dream, honestly, yeah. like <laughs> if I, if I, when I think of it, it's like not, not just like the cool outfits and the whips, but it's like, if you could just get money somehow oh, yeah. Yeah. by yeah. being connected to these people, that's wonderful. Yeah. And that, that part gets tricky too, because you're playing with something that's very serious and that's money. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so he sent me to London because that's where he lives. Wow. Um, yes. And most of my subs, like, oddly enough, are, like, men in their mid-30s or okay. mid-20s and, like, early 30s. Uh-huh. So he was, like, 26. And I went out to see him. And, um, like, I don't know. Like, I just, he's <laughs> not, he's, I'm not going to fucking, like, give him credit. I'm going to say on the record, he is not ugly. Oh. <laughs> like anything else about that but so he there it was it was fun and I know like uh, some of my dumb friends are gonna hear this and they're gonna give me shit I'm like I will, <laughs> listen, I will atone for it and and for the record this is a judgment free zone so yeah. Yeah. leave yeah. your judgments uh at the door it yes really, <laughs> we're gonna lock it up with your keychain those judgments yeah, right. <laughs> Um, I went on shopping sprees. I got money. I had like a hundred orgasms. I was gonna ask. Did he get you off? <laughs> oh, you're reading my mind. I think you're dominating me right now. <laughs> and it was fun because we did like public humiliation sessions where, like, if I didn't like what he was saying, I was just like pouring what drinks on his lap and being like loud and like. And it was fun. He came out here to visit me, and and like we just. You know, we parted our ways. Girl, like, that's just trailer trash where I come from. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and this is like getting money. Yeah, you getting yeah, no, he loved it. He loved it. Like, uh, and I was like screaming at him about his fucking like dick cage on the metro. And he's oh just, my like, god. Was there any was like, yes, oh my like, god. So yes. Yes. <laughs> But he wanted that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So he came out here. Came out here. We hung out for, like, two weeks. Um, it was a lot of fun. So feelings were um, happening. Yeah, but yeah. we had to be, like, pragmatic about it. Sure. Yeah. Like, he's younger. He's still, like, working on his stuff that he's got going on. Yeah. And I live in the United States, and I'm not moving to London. And yeah. And he's just not moving out here. So, yeah. I'm like, whatever. So instead, Jill <laughs> so just uh, screaming about dick cages on Metro and... Yeah. <laughs> And And make people like me who are on that train very happy. (laughs) Kirsten's in, she's in a trench coat in the the corner. (laughs) That's why I ride public transit. I'm like, talk about the dick cages. Come on. Come on, some of you. Somebody here must. (laughs) You, it's gotta be you. I'm I'm, I'm kind of the same thought because I'm just like, like, what's going on there? All right, we have a caller who has a question for you. So uh, we're going to get your caller on the line. Okay. Hello? Hey, hey. hey, welcome to Adult Buddy Finders. Hey, it went through. This is a real, this is, hello? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hank, you're on. It's Greenberry and... Harrison. And we... And we have Queen Freya here. <laughs> yes. What a great indeed. <laughs> um, I'm going to just come out right off the, the gate here and tell you that I am... A nervous wreck right now. (laughs) Well, I tell you, this is just an interesting thing. So I have a few questions that I'd like to ask. And um, is that okay? Is that okay? And I don't really know how to really ask them. So if you just bear with me. Yeah, we'd love to hear your question. Yes. Okay. So um, um, have you always just done stuff like this like you were this since you were a, a young dating teenager you've always kind of been into this or is it something that you kind of stumbled upon uh you know randomly um well when i was a teenager uh we talked about how earlier it's funny because like we talked about how i kind of discovered that i was into it um like sexually with partners but it it's it goes further like what i do um 
in my vanilla relationships with partners, I am dominant and I kind of always knew that I was going to be like, I just, I, I'm very much a brat and I like to be told to do stuff and I like to get what I want when I want it. And so I make sure that I do that for all my sexual needs as well. And is brat, brat's a term, yeah. right? And that yeah. just means that you like, like what you were describing. Yeah. And like there's some, there's different bratty people, but some people don't think that there's such a thing as a bratty dom because like there definitely is. Like if I, I tell people that my hard limit is the word no. So if you tell me no, I'll just tell you to leave. Oh. <laughs> I won't be like, oh, please, I'll do this. Like, there's no bargaining. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, and then that's how I, like, also got into doing, like, pro financial domination is because I like to get what I want, and I'm going to do whatever I want to get it, and I'm going to make people <laughs> beg to give me things. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hank, do you have more questions? I have a few, I have a few more if you're not too. <laughs> so... I'm sure you probably get this a lot. Of course, you probably tell I'm a married man, okay? <laughs> and um, uh, has there ever been like a a request from these gentlemen that has ever been like, um, like you just wouldn't do it because it's just too silly? Well, um, I mean, I do. I do, I have my limits, um, but they're they Listen, when you. <laughs> <laughs> when you do professional domination outside of your relationships, things get really fucking weird, man. Like, I, <laughs> there is nothing that is too weird. I like, I or silly. Like, and I definitely don't want to kink shame people. So, whenever guys like ask for things, I will sometimes happily be like, "Yeah, I'm totally gonna freaking do that." And then there's sometimes where I'm like, "I can't." Like, uh-huh. I I think like the silliest. Um, thing that I like task that I had fulfilled for me was like a guy um and I totally stole this from my friend Tegan I'm not gonna not give her credit Aww. but I had a guy Shout out Tegan. <laughs> yeah I had a guy um he said he was into like really like severe humiliation mm-hmm. so like I I had him like go on like a video sharing thing so all my other dom friends and I could like tap in and watch him and I might have dip his dick into cool whip and do like a helicopter <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's, uh, it's is that silly <laughs> for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, mean, uh, I mean, like uh, I've been married for thirteen years, and and so I'm really, I feel like me and the the lady can really kind of keep things a little bit uh, hot, you know? <laughs> yeah. Do you have a silly idea, Hank? Any any silly ideas come to mind? Yeah, I just, and maybe you, and maybe you can help me to maybe you know I'm, I'm from a small town in, in Missouri. Okay. And there's there's no one like you there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> there are. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How would we find somebody like you in Missouri? <laughs> I mean, they're not so. hard to find. But <laughs> <laughs> so I have this, it's just, it is, it's kind of silly, but I have this idea, this fantasy thing where, like, I would like for my wife to, like, um, dress up like a chef, like a, um, like a chef Boardie, you know what I mean, with the hat. Yeah. Uh huh. And not the not the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and then she calls me in from outside to come have dinner. Okay. And she then she, there's no food on the table. <laughs> and then she says, "You're the one that's going to be for dinner tonight." <laughs> See, it is funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. It's, we're surprised. I, it's a fun I, surprise. I, that that was not what I expected you to say. Yeah, it's a funny surprise. More of a surprise. Like a, um, like a ravioli. <laughs> oh, so oh. you want to be like stuffed with and cheese and stuff? And, meats and cheese is at me. Oh. I don't even get that much dough. I'm a, kind of a big fella. But like, then maybe like, how do you, I guess I couldn't get baits because... Um, but maybe you could like put me like in a hot car. Oh. <laughs> I like your creativity. Me. Yeah, and really I, creative. This is just, and they drive around with me and just tell me, no matter how much I wanted to get out of the car, that you're not done yet. You're not <laughs> done yet, Mr. Ravioli. <laughs> maybe. It's funny. I know. No, I, I, just, I love this so much. Like, you are the right kind of weird for, like, specifically, like, I would love to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry, go ahead, Hank. Say that one more time. 
have, have you have you ever had, done something so similar to that? I mean, that's like specifically an objectification and food fetish kind of thing that you're talking about. Oh, so, so oh, so there's people out there that. Yeah, I mean, you are asking to be basically turned into an object, treated like an object, but also like including food with that. And those are very specific kinks. However, like, you know, nobody is alone in their kinks. Like, yeah, that's I, you know what I mean? Like, there are definitely people out there that are going to be like, oh, hell yeah. I mean, if there are furries, there is anything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Gracious. So, how would I? Okay, so the next question is, is that if I didn't want to be a an old dirty old dog and, and, and seek this out on the side, mm. how could I get maybe the wife to, to be interested in something like that? Well, okay, so I actually do a lot of work with this stuff. I have, like, a wow. sub in, in London who, like, asks me for help with him and his girlfriend. I, like, actually made him tell her, like, what he's into. He, like, didn't tell her for years. Oh, wow. And now he, like, comes to me and asks me my wife and I divorced me. No. <laughs> I just... It's just a weird, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, and, 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 you know, sometimes it can be, like, a very surprising and fulfilling moment that feels like you, you finally feel like, okay, I can finally be myself. And there's no reason why you shouldn't be yourself around your wife and, and your partner or your spouse, because, like, I mean, there's security there. You guys are married for a reason. And so why not, like, explore this, like, weird little domain together and have fun? So... You can start by testing the waters. I mean, this is what your fantasy is, is wonderful and very unique, and I love it. I think that it might be a little too intense for her right off the bat. So I would start to ask her if, if she has, like, anything that she's kind of, like, ever wanted to experiment in, and if you guys can start kind of, like, opening up those avenues. And, 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 and it would really, like, actually be good for your guys' relationship, too, because, like, the sex would just be so much more fun. And sometimes these things aren't even directly connected to sex. Like, you know, what you're saying is a completely mental thing for you where you like want to feel this objectification. You're not asking for like a lot more than just that. And so that could be but fun. Sex can be included in that too? It can be if you want it to be. <laughs> like, <laughs> Everyone's okay. getting surprised today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so new. I'm, I, I'm not trying to. I'm just, oh my goodness. So oh, we we so love it, Hank. Yeah. I could ask you to maybe like put like a little uh, hole in the ravioli where the, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Some like American pie, but American yeah. ravioli. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what are those called? Glory holes yeah. for the dough. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Yeah. You know, I, I just, I would start researching a couple of things for like uh, objectification kink, like, like that same sub that I held in London, like I only refer to him as it, and mm -hmm. he's specifically just a wallet to me. I don't even refer to him like as a human being. Mm -hmm. oh. And so if that's something that interests you, Hank, you could talk to your wife about like some nights she just like completely objectifies you. Like you are just not a human being. You've lost all your autonomy and your only existence is for her to have fun with. And uh, maybe that's something that she could really get into. Yeah. And then that's how you start kind of like, then you start tiptoeing around like, okay, so now we're going to very gently introduce this kind of aspect. And then you can finally go your full blown freak, weird flag chef where you deep fantasy and everybody's happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay. Here's another confession. Okay. There's a, there's a fellow that I work with and he says that his wife will make him do the oral sex on a, um, well, those, uh, which, a dildo. Okay. What have you. And and just sit there and watch TV with her. Oh, okay. So he just like wants her to be doing that while he's sitting next to her. No, he, he yeah, he he wants her. He wants to do that for. She he wants her to do that to him. So it's like she's just sitting there, not on him, but on a yeah, toy. Like she won't let him watch his shows. <laughs> wow. so, so she's on a dildo, and she's telling him he can't watch oh, TV. No, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. He is. He's got oh. it right in his mouth. Oh. oh, okay. That's we. Is that's, that a little more? That I, I, is that a little more the norm? That's normal. That's a power exchange and humiliation move. Like some guys that I will like talk like fake sexual and talk with them like because they really want to go into deep humiliation, and I like basically will tell them like oh. 
put their dick in chastity and make them wear a strap on and fuck a pillow instead of me and I'll watch them and they don't even get to oh. like their dick doesn't even get to touch the pillow the <laughs> strap on does yeah like so like I will like triple deny them oh, so yeah. I, he likes the tease and denial is basically and then he also has an oral fixation which is great yeah yes. so Hank the possibilities are endless mm-hmm. and we and if you tune into this episode we'll have we'll have ways to connect with Freya and you can learn a lot about what she does and that will hopefully you're already creative yeah so yeah. And, and maybe it'll open up like the world for you a little bit more yeah and I loved Freya's advice wide open right now <laughs> 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 one more question one more question all right, Hank. It's not too much. This, I mean, does Miss Freya look like the actual Freya, the goddess you think goddess like? Oh, Very yes. goddess like. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm a big Norse mythology. I just, that's it. <laughs> you, you're going to love her. You're, you, you can is find her. Is that a real name or is that just your. <laughs> you're asking too many questions now, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's really on OnlyFans. Yes. Worship on Freya. Fans. She's on Twitter. She's on well, TikTok. Enough, I suppose. <laughs> yes. As real as you make it, just like any of us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hank, thank you so much for calling. Well, thank you, ladies. Very much. I appreciate it. Uh, and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try it out. I yes. don't know where to go from, but I'll try it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, thank Hank. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Hank. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Yeah, that was great. What an icon. Right? <laughs> I love that. Turn Chef Boyardee yeah. into oh a whole God. kink. Yes. Thank you for taking the time to talk yes. to our guests and to help us walk through this. We are actually running out of time. Yeah, real quick. I have a quick question. Oh, okay. what is yours? Mine is, um, if somebody wants to find uh, somebody like you, yeah. where would they go? Um, so there are a lot, you know, you have to see through it, but there are a lot of us on Twitter and it's like really easy to find oh, us on there. Twitter. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. You know, yeah. um, if, if somebody is like seeking me out for in-person, like half meets or kind of like other kind of sessions, cause I do engage in a lot of different things. Nice. Um, so yeah, Twitter is probably the most popular. Okay. What hashtag would you search for? Um, so we don't use hashtags cause oh. Twitter has been kind of mean to sex workers. Mm. You can literally just type in a word and this is like also a tip oh, for yeah. viewers sex workers don't use hashtags oh get shadow banned. no hashtags yeah no. just type in like words that you would type in for a hashtag without the hashtag oh yeah. nice <laughs> awesome yeah <laughs> All right, I'll ask my question off because we are we are we're down to the minutes. Okay. So thank you so much for coming yes, in. Thank you. Hanging around with you. <laughs> and all you adult buddy finders out there, thank you so much for listening. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> we have Freya's information in our show notes. And we mentioned before, you can find her on Twitter. Mm-hmm. You can find her on TikTok. Mm-hmm. And you can find her on OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. And it's a variation of Queen Freya. So you'll have to look <laughs> in, in, the, in the show description. Yeah. Worship. Worship Freya. Worship Freya. Worship Freya. Yeah. Worship Freya. Oh, so there's, a, there's <laughs> an underscore in some and there's in not in others. So we'll get you that information. But you just have to come and look at the podcast. Do you want to tease? Oh, tease. Well, we have nothing to tease, do we? Oh, we have to tease an episode. I know. what? We won't even tell you. Oh. You don't deserve it. You don't <laughs> get a tease. Did I learn? Am I doing well? <laughs> you can be dumb. Yeah, here. Garrison is practicing her dominatrix, and <laughs> she's not telling you anything. Mm-mm. So just come back. Do you yeah. know when to come back? We've been doing this long enough. Yeah. Bi-weekly, every Wednesday, get your freaking ears over here. Yeah. Am I dominating now? <laughs> <laughs> so, Freya, thank you. Thank if you, you have anything to say to our listeners, we'd love to hear it. Yes. I want you all to be good little boys, girls, and snobbies, and pets, and sluts, and crawl your way over to the subscribe button and click it, because if you don't, well, you can't get any more pathetic, but this would help a little bit. (laughs) Oh, yes. I better do that. (laughs) I want to click that subscribe. Click, 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 click. I'm going to go subscribe. (laughs) All right. Thanks for listening. Thank you, you. friends. Bye. (laughs)